Hello everyone, uh, this is Rajib. I uh, will go over installation of SQL Server 2017 Release Candidate 2. Uh, they just released it uh, last month, August 2017. Uh, let's see uh, what's in it, what they have stored for us. I'll go with a custom option. Click on install. Now it's gonna download all the packages and uh, artifacts it needs to uh, go on with the installation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause it here really quick. Okay, as you can see, it uh, brings up the common SQL Server Installation Center uh, dialog window. And I will go into the installation section. Uh, for the installation part, I will go with the new SQL Server standard on installation and uh, you can quickly notice that um, they have links for install SQL Server reporting services and SQL Server management tools and their tools outside of the regular installation process uh, in prior version of uh, SQL Server installation uh, we had the ability to ha have them installed as part of the installation process so I believe ever since SQL Server 2016, SQL Server management tools have been uh, stripped out of it, and it, it is now a standalone tool. And it is uh, up until now, SQL Server reporting services used to be a part of it. Now it's no longer part of the regular installation process. So uh, that's really interesting find. So I'm going to click on the SQL Server installation. Check on show details. Okay. Now it's gonna do its usual task of scanning for other updates. And it's gone done checking with installation rules. I'll click on next. So you can choose here evolution versus developer versus express. I'll go with the 180 day uh, evolution edition. Click on next. And do the usual, uh, agree with the lessons terms. Go next. Next you have the uh, feature selection. I'm going to be greedy and check all of them and select all options. And the first time when I tried to install SQL Server 2017, um, I had some struggle with uh, because Polybase was installed with my prior installation of SQL Server 2016 and uh, it didn't like that. So let's see, I hope Polybase installation goes well. And as we go to the uh, feature list, it has uh, DB Engine services, SQL Server application, machine learning services for R and Python both. And uh, one thing that is interesting uh, they are now have a machine learning server for all the AI stuff uh, and data science activities so as part of machine learning server they are also uh, installing R and Python for that too and uh, now they have integration services they have these two new concepts scale out master and scale out worker I have not worked with it so that's something I, I might well I'll, time and energy permitting I'll definitely play with it and let's see yeah and so we're gonna click next scan okay I'm gonna go with default instance uh, unless um, you have another other preference you can also choose to name your own instance so uh, that's totally up to you but I'll go with the default instance and save me as much pain as I can. So one thing you'll notice is that uh, I'll go with uh, uh, my installation uh, process will be very simple because uh, I want quick turnaround uh, as, as a development DBA slash data engineer type I probably uh, will take some shortcut 
I would not recommend it. So um, I'm sure many DBs will admonish me for that. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, next, in the next one, it's asking me about polybase configuration. Uh, I haven't played with this much uh, other than going through some demos. So I'm just gonna go with the default option, which is to use the SQL Server as standalone polybase enable instance. And then comes the uh, server configuration. Uh, depending on you need a matrix to make this set this to automatic so that uh, you can schedule jobs if you need to but I'll leave it to manual because I don't need any need to schedule jobs in this uh, local personal uh, uh, PC so click on next uh, I'll go with the mix mode add myself as the SQL server admin and it's gonna think for a bit. I'm gonna type in password. Let's see, I will keep the directories tab, tem db and file stream uh, default. And of course, this is where if you wanna uh, get some recommendation from your, your, from your DBA, feel free to do that. And I am going to go with a tabular mode because multi-dimensional mode is not supported in Power BI, unfortunately. So uh, until they change that, I will uh, go with tabular mode for now. And uh, now this uh, next two op options, like this tab for integration service scale out configuration, master node versus uh, worker node. I have no idea what they do, so I'm just gonna go with the default option. And I'm gonna click next. And DRC, uh, I'm just gonna say DRC controller. And then it's gonna ask for your consent to install Microsoft R open. I'll accept. Okay, um, if it's it, it might take a while, I'm gonna pause recording here. Okay, we're back and click on next. Let's see. Now I'll click on accept on installation of Python. So for this portion, Microsoft partnered up with Continuum Analytics and they will install packages from their Anaconda product line. And Anaconda is their data science platform. Click on next. So it's gonna give a summary of what it's gonna install and their prerequisites and config and the whole list. And I'm gonna click on install. So as it installs, I uh, will uh, spare you the headache of watching mindless dialogue progress bar window. So I'm going to pause right here. All right, uh, we're back. Uh, it just finished the installation, as you can see. And let's go over all the st steps it went through. Okay, so looks like there wasn't any error or anything like that. In total, um, it took about 40 minutes or so to install the entire SQL Server 2017 RC two. And uh, when I looked, on, looked into the documentation, they made about 40 new changes and enhancements. So um, of those, the ones I found most interesting were the support for creating graph databases now there's create table like uh, syntaxes for um, making relationships for nodes and edges and uh, there's support for automatic tuning then also new dmvs for monitoring your temp, temp db databases and um, there are availability 
availability groups uh, support uh, now goes across both Windows and Linux so we can do migration and testing stuff like that and another cool thing is memory optimized tables is getting more uh, internal uh, what do you call it? support um, so that uh, SP space reused and other procedures like SP rename they can uh, uh, support memory optimized tables so those are the uh, cool stuff so I'm gonna close this uh, setup window and uh, next time uh, depending on time and energy I will go over installing SQL Server management tools uh, installing SQL Server reporting services and data tools in future uh, version of the videos I get to make alright thank you uh, have a good day